Okay, so I'm gonna do a video on how to tell if my eggs are bad because Matt ate eggs this morning and had a stomach ache and is like not happy. And then a couple days ago, um, maybe a week ago, after Grace had died, we made quiche and everything and I didn't get sick, but Matt and Emily got sick and they're both convinced that the eggs are bad. So, we're going to try this test and see if they're good or bad. All right. Probably shouldn't have filled it up that high, but it's okay. All right. Okay, so we threw out all our eggs after that and we bought some regular store eggs, so I'm gonna put that in first. Okay, so what I've been told was see how it's like not floating at all. Let's see if I can move it. Okay, see how it's not floating at all? That means it's fresh, it's good. Okay, this is one of ours. That one's pretty fresh. Okay, so then Matt is convinced that it's these, we have like some new layers that have been laying some really like weird, opaque looking eggs. Um, and they were super hard to crack, so we're gonna see. Nope, not floating there. I'll try another one. I'm just gonna try like all our eggs and see. So like this egg, if you look at it, it's kind of like floating up on one end. So it has a little bit of air in it, but it's supposed to not that doesn't matter. But what happens is when they are not good anymore, they float on the top like an ice cube. So it looks like ours are fine. I'm gonna tell Matt that maybe, maybe it's just him or maybe he's not washing them well enough before he cracks them just because they have the bloom on them still. So we don't wash them right away, but you still definitely need to wash your eggs before you are cracking them into food. You know, so let's zoom. Yeah, all of them look really good, so I'll show you from the top. There you go, looks pretty good to me. 